Hello everyone, good evening. My, my name is Beat. Namaste from Abu Dhabi. Hope you, everyone doing great. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank Amul for this great opportunity. And uh, it's a wonderful concept as well. Uh, today, I'm going to show you how to make uh, paneer momos with palak and tomato chutney on the side. It's a very simple recipe. You can make it at home easily. Uh, however, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I will try to answer all the questions. Uh, so let's start. So first thing first, let me put on my gloves. And uh, let's switch on the gas. So yeah, this makes it ready right here. So let's see the ingredients for today's recipe. So I'm going to use 100 grams of amul paneer, grated amul paneer, which is already grated. So uh, I'm going to add chopped onions, chopped onions, two tablespoon of chopped onions. Uh, now uh, one spoon, tablespoon of uh, green, green beans. Two tablespoon of the chopped carrots. So again, we have chopped uh, carrot. One spoon of chopped carrot, spring onion, half tablespoon, and we have uh, chopped green spring coriander, a half spoon tablespoon, and we do have chili, bit of chili ginger garlic paste ginger garlic paste one teaspoon and uh, we have uh, here uh, this is a homemade uh, momo masala however you can buy in the market as well it's uh, available all over the world i believe so uh, this is a uh, i made uh, in the morning only so i couldn't find it in abu dhabi so uh, if you want to know about the momo recipe, momo masala recipe, sorry, uh, I will explain you. So this one, uh, almost two tablespoon, sorry, two teaspoon. Right there, I'd like to add a bit of amul butter, wonderful amul butter, and uh, we have to mix it very, very well. So you can see I'm mixing it very well. So I can see the aroma of this uh, homemade uh, momo masala. So this one we have to mix very, very, very well. So it's almost ready. I'd like to add a bit of uh, cross paper. So yeah, I'll use the gloves for now. Use a bit of black cross paper. So this one is ready. Just keep it on the side. So next, we are going to prepare a dough for the momo. So for the momo dough, I have 150 grams of uh, flowers. To enhance a little bit of flavor, I'm going to use uh, palak juice. Which one? Actually, I already prepared because it's take a little bit of time to prepare. You can see the green color, nice green color. Uh, actually, you need to blanch for a minute and you just blend it and take out the juice. So. Uh, and a pinch of salt, mix well, so you will find a poesa milega. So uh, then, because you have to keep it on the side for at least 15 to 20 minutes, so I cannot make it here right now, and uh, I can't wait more 15-20 minutes, of course. 
So I already prepared this one. It's very simple. If you have any questions, still you can ask. I can make it clear. So now, uh, dust law, and take the this nicely made Alex flavor colored dough, make it roll, and divide it into small pieces. Equally small pieces, you can see here. So now I'm going to make it roll, dough small individual doughs. If you have any questions, you may ask, please. Chef, while you're doing that, we have one question. Uh, some of them are asking, can you explain how to make the masala? Would you do this now or at the end of the video? Yeah, it's very simple. Uh, and uh, we have all the ingre ingredients we have available at home all the time, I believe, in Indian kitchen. So especially, I used uh, cu cumin seeds, coriander seeds, uh, ginger garlic powder, turmeric powder, Mm -hmm. Yeah, onion powder and mix all together. First, you just slightly roast and uh, grind it. So it's very easy. However, if you want to know more about the momos and masalas, please, you can follow my page. I will explain you more. And and what page do you follow on Instagram? Instagram Adhikari Beat underscore the chef and Facebook page is. Uh, uh, beat Adhikai, so you can see the Lambul piece as well. So the individual dough, you have to roll it into the medium to uh, thin. So the seed is ready. So what you have to do is now, uh, let's uh, uh, switch on the gas to steam. So the steamer is almost ready here. So it makes a little bit of sound because water is boiling. So now let's see our mixture. Do some music. So our mixture is ready. So you can make any shape. So I'm going to make uh, the one I will show you. So you have to take the almost half half a uh, tablespoon of stuffing which is nice amul stuffing amul uh, paneer with vegetables and uh, you have to do it like this so pinch the both edges and uh, roll it roll it roll it so the mama is ready very simple however you can make uh, any other shape whatever makes you easy so uh, actually uh, i already prepared some of uh, here, just to make it quick, because it's a uh, nice snacking. I don't want to take you more time. So, yeah, now we go for the steaming process. I have my melted almond butter here. I'm gonna apply into the steamer. Here. So, you can see the you can hear the boiling water sound. So, it's quite good to apply it. So, it doesn't stick. It's not going to stick. So, it's going to stick. It's going to stick. It's going You have to steam uh, about 8 to 10 minutes. So, that's why I'm rushing to steam first so we can go for other preparation. So, I have already made a few here. If you have any questions, please. Chef, some of the viewers are asking for your Instagram page. I'd just like to let them know. We'll put it in the comments at the end of the video. So all of y'all can follow Chef Ben. We'll sure. put the links in the end of the video. Sure, I'm going to cover it. So now approximately eight to 10 minutes, we're going to steam the paneer palak momo. Uh, so 
Now, the interesting part. Now we are going to make a secret Momo recipe. Uh, there are lots of uh, recipes, Momo recipe, Momo chutney recipes, but this one is a little bit unique and it's my own style. So uh, I have wonderful, nice Amul Gai uh, I'm going to use this one. I have been uh, working as a chef since uh, 20 years, so this is, uh, I found this is one of the best uh, ghee in the Middle East as well. So, for a ghee dal mita. So our mama is getting ready. So now, Chop green chili, ginger garlic paste, and this is a mix of coriander powder, cumin powder, turmeric. So this is a little bit of this. So this is a Sichuan peppercorn powder which gives amazing flavor into it. So, of tomato, tomato dalita. This is a nice. If you have any questions, please, you can ask. So we have one question, Chef. Okay. Isha Dingra is asking, can we fry these momos? Yes, you can fry, you can <coughs> steam. There is another terminology called kothe. You can, uh, that's called, uh, there's a sauté, uh, uh, frying. You can do that one as well. And is this a special steamer you have here, or we can use any steamer? Any steamer you can use. This is, uh, I brought it from back home. This is a stainless steel. So it will, uh, yeah. So I would like to add some more. Probably powder because I feel it will be good. Yeah, it's quite good. So, this is uh, sesame, roasted sesame seeds to almost two tablespoons. And uh, you don't have to cook well because you. Uh, should be there, there's a tanginess of uh, tomato flavor or non chili. First, we put up water at the top. So, salt to taste. So Momo is getting ready, our pickle is getting ready. So now I'm free. You can ask the question, please. Everyone is saying they're having, they really like the recipe. We've got people from Paris, from Nepal, from India. Namaste from Nepal. Uh, some of them are asking if we can just quickly repeat the recipe, the stuffing recipe. They yes. missed it, they came a bit late, so they want us to know the stuffing recipe. My pleasure. Okay, I'll explain you from the beginning. So, I took uh, 100 grams of paneer, which is amul paneer. I grate it and uh, I add two tablespoon of uh, chopped onion, uh, one tablespoon of chopped green beans, two tablespoon of uh, caves, uh, spring onion, and uh, fresh coriander, chopped uh, carrot, uh, we had, uh, it's almost finished, uh, ginger garlic paste, green chili. So, and then you, you I add little bit of amul butter. So, amul butter ka apna hi taste hai, it gives 
very, very nice flavor and moist. So, and then you mix it very well and leave it for five, 10 minutes just to give the flavor. So yeah, this is, I believe, I answer your question. If anything, please feel free to ask again. Could you once again repeat your uh, where they can find you and ask you more questions if they want to when they're making the recipe? Uh, yes, <coughs> you can visit my page, Bead Adhikari, Facebook page, and it's underscore the chef. Uh, please feel free to ask anything, anytime. Thank you, chef. Thanks, sir. While we are waiting, could you maybe show us how to make the, the momo again? Yes, please. Since please, we please, have please, to wait. Waiting. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a good idea, actually. So, and maybe a new style. shape. Yeah, new shape, new, no problem. You can make anything you like. So, just you need to close the seat, that's it. Just roll it. Just roll it, easy way. I will tell you the easy way if you are a, not very good into it, so you can use those kind of bowl. You can just cut it into the square, sorry, round. Easily you can make it this way as well. So this one, I'm going to give another shape, which is just put in the center. You have to center it in the or you just take the edges. Just go and 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 go. Wow. And just join the last ace. That looks very nice. It's very small actually. It just for the test. I can make it other one. Okay, our pickle is almost. Aditya Gire is asking if we can make a rose shape. Rose shape? Oh. Yeah. Next episode I will do that. <laughs> Like in the next episode, definitely I will do that. Yeah. So, pickle almost getting ready. Momo. Let's check the momo. Oh, yeah. Wow. Almost, almost it's ready. So, now we are going to blend our momo pickle. Chef, you frozen paneer, we can use fresh paneer. Yes, we can use it. You can use it frozen, you can use it. Mostly, frozen is available. So, so, you can see it's almost done. So, I will add some more. Spin. Coriander and spring onions. So, one more step. So, I will switch up the gas for this one, but it's still spinning. So, we are going to blend Amazing. So, I'll transfer into the bowl. Amazing, it's ready here. Any comments? 
Chef, so Pooja is asking when she makes momos and after steaming, it doesn't get soft. So what's your tip or suggestion? Is for? So you have to be very careful with the dough. Dough consistency. Dough softness has to be medium soft, not very hard. And uh, as I told you guys earlier, you have to leave it for some time to give the rest. I say, uh, they say uh, the immediately you have to leave it for some time to give rest and then uh, it has to be very very silky very soft so that's the reason I guess you can try if it doesn't work then you can still ask with me I will try to answer your question again the chef a question yeah baby yeah how do we know if the momo is ready oh yeah that's a good uh, question actually uh, you can see the sinus of the momo on the top and the softness also. So I will show you. See the softness and the sininess. So it's a chal jata hai ki aapka momo ready hai or not. If, if you still have more doubt, you can try it. You just taste one piece. It's very simple. It's not a rocket science, believe me. So. Oh, so it's a COVID time, so I have to sanitize my hand. Chef, when you are removing the momo, there is one more question. Which yes. spinach dough do you have to add in the spinach dough? No, uh, spinach dough, there is no any masalas. It's just a, uh, this, the maida flour, uh, salt, a pinch of salt, and uh, this one, nice uh, spinach uh, juice. However, you can use uh, just a plain water. Uh, I just want to give this uh, flavor of palak and paneer, a little bit of uh, this enhanced flavor. That's it. Otherwise, you can use anything else. This is not my way. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So let's, let's take out the momo. This looks so tempting. Anyway, this is our dinner. Ye kam padne wala hai, chef. I'll make more. We have the, a lot of mixture there. Stuffing still left. So as I told you earlier, you can leave any safe. You just need to close uh, stuffing. So this is a night time, a midnight stacking. So uh, four or five pieces more than enough. Uh, so. Momo pickle. So actually, you can momo pickle in the pickle as a soup because the consistency is a very uh, liquid. So you can make it a little bit of uh, uh, thickness, thick also. You can make it a little bit of thickness. Normally, you can make it a deep thickness. So it's up to you how you want to you know, have it. So uh, I think we are almost done. So if you have any questions related to this recipe, Chef. Or related to momos, I, I will be more than happy to answer any questions. Yeah, pe bahut comments are hai, inko bahut pasand are hai. Looking yummy, very nice. A question hai uh, Ratna ji se uh, ki, do we have to add any oil to the dough? Uh, honestly, I don't know. That's the reason I add uh, spinach uh, juice to make it more healthy, to enhance the flavor. Uh, masala, honestly, you don't have to put a uh, bit of salt, yes, but not other masalas. Chef, a coffee log puchre. If we can do a recap on the entire recipe before we end, uh, so the oh. chutney, the the momo, uh, the mixture, and the dough as well. If you can do a quick recap on everything. Oh, I will try quickly. So, okay. So, I think we already recap the mixture. So maybe just the dough and the chutney. Certainly, I will do that. So first thing. Let's uh, start from the stuffing mixture. So I took the uh, 
100 grams of uh, amul paneer. I grated it and I add a tablespoon of chopped onion, two tablespoons of uh, chopped uh, cabbage, chopped uh, beans. However, if you don't like beans, you can remove it. If you like more, more beans, you can add more. It's up to you. There's nothing rocket science. So uh, chopped carrot, uh, yeah, chopped spring onion, and chopped coriander. So I, I told you, I already mentioned the mama masala. This is homemade mama masala. However, you can buy in the market. Uh, uh, I don't know uh, uh, it's available in UAE or no, but uh, this one I made in the morning. I make in the morning only. So I use the garlic paste, chili uh, chops, you mix well, and then your stuffing is ready. So next, dough. So I took the uh, maida flour, 100 grams, 150 grams, and uh, I add a pinch of salt, and uh, I used uh, a spinach juice, or if you don't like spinach flavor, you can add just a plain water. Uh, so this one, after you will find the dough like this, green color, and you can uh, smell the, the flavor of uh, spinach, and it, it goes with uh, paneer stuffing, so it gives amazing taste and flavor, of course. So next, uh, for the pickle, pickle uh, ingredients are uh, tomato, chopped tomatoes, onions, ginger garlic. Uh, the interesting part is, uh, ingredients is uh, this one, uh, Sichuan peppercorn, you can use a whole or uh, powder, whatever is available around you. And uh, this is a mix of uh, Cumin seeds, coriander seeds, uh, yeah, that's it. And uh, of course, uh, turmeric powder, haldi. So that one, uh, you cook it like pickle, achar, and then add uh, two tablespoons of sesame, roasted sesame seeds. So and then cook it about five minutes and uh, blend it and you will find the final product. It's clear. If it's still not clear, we will do next episode, definitely. Thank you so much, Chef Wade. This looks amazing. We can't wait to taste it. Before we go to the comments, Chef Wade's links or wherever you can contact him, we will leave the information in, in a few minutes. Sure. Any last words? So thank you everyone for joining with us. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have if you have any more questions about momos or any other as a chef, I'm sure I can answer. So Absavika Neva. So Shugratri, good night. Thank you very much. <laughs>